Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to WCW Nitro. Hello, everybody. I'm Ramses, and I'm the Vesper, and we're here for another edition of Vesper's Retro Reviews as we work our way through the N64 wrestling-based games, and now we're up to that's right, WCW Nitro for the N64. Oh, and boy, is this game going to suck! I can remember when this was out. My friends had. It, and we played it once, and I was like, I would never play it again. And then 30 years later, guess what? I'm doing a nice little retro show where I have to play it again. That's right. We got to do it for you guys. So, yeah, let's tell you a little bit about this wonderful game. It's the fourth in uh, chronologically that came out in North American market, and this time it's WCW Nitro. Now, it's released by THQ in 1999. Don't let the THQ fool you. This is being done by a brand new developer known as Inland Productions. So the game's going to be very different. It's THQ, but it's not made by the same designers who made the previous WCW games. That's right. So THQ released an excellent product in WCW versus NWO World Tour and their sequel. But it was not made by the same company. So what we're going to get is something that is obviously an inferior product because this was their first wrestling game. Instead of building on the success of that wondrous games that we've already reviewed, they decided to go back to a claim zone standard of turning it into Mortal Kombat. Yeah, exactly. Now, there's a few things that the company itself said when they were making this game. All right, so this game got some mixed reviews. Inland Production was so proud that they came up with a whole new system. This is their first wrestling experience, like we said, and they came up with some great things where the bodies would like mesh well together and it was so seamless and it probably was better on the PlayStation than the N64. The N64, as you guys all know, is a cartridge-based system. It doesn't have the same capabilities as the disc-based system. So there was a little bit lost in translation when it went from the PS1 version to the N64. And that doesn't make the game better on one version or the other. It just it was more intended for a disc-based system versus cartridge. So it's going to be laggy and it's going to be weird and it's going to be a lot of stuff cut out of this version that was on the disc-based version, pretty much. Yeah, that's still not going to save this game. Oh boy, this thing's a piece of trash because I absolutely hate the fact I have to memorize 30 movesets for all the characters. And you have to unlock more characters and then you have to memorize their moveset. Oh, it just is, it's making my blood pressure rise thinking about it. Yeah, unfortunately, it's going to be very different. This is going to be more like the Acclaim wrestling games that we played previously where it's all every wrestler has unique moves and it's going to use the C buttons with the D-pad in certain formations to get moves. It's not going to be the simplistic you remember of the previous game. It's going to be a lot of Mortal Kombat as combination moves. So a little more tricky, but I guess if you memorize it, it's fine. But let's see how the game is. That's the background of the game. So Vesper, you got to play it. And uh, yeah, let's uh, continue on here. I'm going to hit the start button here. All right, let's look at the options. We always like to look at options. So this is the default options here. The matches are five minutes by default. I think that's more than enough time. I'll bet you these are very quick matches. But what's the maximum you can do here? Unlimited. All right, so if you wanted to torture yourself unlimited, you could do that. Five minutes is more than enough. Now, I prefer to do it in three minutes, but five, I guess, is good. Okay, ring time, we don't get that's fine. 20 seconds. Wow, you give you a minute outside the ring. All right. We're up to unlimited. The normal, hard, and easy, so very generic. We're going to easy, because I remember this game. It was terrible. All right, he's going to play easy mode and surprise attacks. No, we don't need surprise attacks. Sure, we are. Yes, we do. All this right, game can't to... get any worse. Okay. Now, do you want to pick what ring we're using? It could be the Nitro, the NWO, WCW, Full Brawl, American Badge, Halloween Havoc, or Random. It's Nitro, let's go to Nitro. Audio, obviously stereo. We are playing a stereo. We can lower the effects, but we already tested that, and the game's already very soft as it is. So, here's the button configuration. Now, you can see it's very, very different from the other WCW games. It's really just these four yellow buttons, and you can tag with the A, taunt with the B, and pin is the top button, block is the other top. That's it. They changed the whole format. Of and if you recall on a PlayStation controller, they have two top buttons. So that wonderful A and B button was relegated to the top buttons and not there. So you only had your four buttons there. See what they did here? They thought they were cute. And normally we don't talk about a game like this. Oh, but I love this game. I want to see it burn. All right, you can already see that Vesper is And by the way, here. if you don't think I'm right about this, go back and play WCW versus NW World Tour. Much better game. Okay. Much better. Yep, game. that's why we're reviewing all these. We want to see the changes that were made in every wrestling game as they came out on the system. And this is next in line, so this is what we got to do. All right, so that will be the buttons for this. So it's Chop Punch, 
The action button is pretty much to get on the ropes, to get back in the ring, things like that. Or throwing, I suppose you do that with the action also. And then we don't have a control pack, so we're not going to save. And the credits, we don't care. So that's it. So let's see what options the game itself has. So push start. So that's it. Yeah, this is not much. This is the whole entire shebang right here. And your tournament mode is 10 matches. So I'll go ahead and show you quickly tournament mode. Let's just click Hollywood here because we can. And there you go. Best of 10. So you, they'll give you 10 wrestlers to go up against, and that'll be tournament. And I don't think you need to see that. We're going to show you more than enough of this game, but realize you win the tournament, and then you get a hooray. You won. All right, so now exhibition. I think we'll do both regular exhibition and tag exhibition, but we're going to do a few matches. We want to give you some complete playthroughs here. So we're going to do a few exhibition matches, and then we'll do one tag match. There's also Battle Royal, but you got to be really good at the game where you're throwing everybody out. And yeah, that'd be crazy. So we're going to do some exhibition matches, and I think that'll give you more than enough an idea of what we have. But we're also going to do tag matches, too. So don't worry, we'll give you more than your fill. Now let's go over the whole roster. So, of course, there's Hollywood Hogan. He was still big here. Bret Hart, Sting, Lex Luger, The Giant, Diamond Dallas Page, Raven, Saturn, Jericho, Scott Steiner, Rick Steiner, The Macho Man Randy Savage, Kurt Henning, Scott Hall, Kevin Nash, and Goldberg, yes. So there's 16 characters start off and you can actually unlock more. Some of these boxes will fill up here and you get more. So that'll be exciting, but we're not gonna do that. Just realize there's more here. We'll start out with Hogan. That's the legend himself. Hollywood Hogan, and who do you wanna go up against? I think I'll go against Macho Man. All right, that's a rivalry. Uh, even in WCW, they were still a rivalry. Now, oh. notice there's no intro, there's no music, there's no anything. It just gets right to the Look mat, how small the ring and is. And that's it, and it's a tiny little oh, ring Oh, good here. lord, come on. Uh. I can't Mortal Kombat hard enough. Come on, Hogan. You and can do it. the commentary will only say something when you do a, uh Im impressive move. That's the only time. See, that's the only time you hear commentary when you do one of your major moves. Yep. Nothing else. Oh, God. It's so seamless, right? Oh, it's seamlessly and bad. And the same exact oh, thing. God. Every time you do a power bomb, it'll say, it's the power bomb. And uh, you see that zigzag throw out there? That's yeah, that, that's a sign of quality. <laughs> So now the counters in each of them are being counted out here. Uh, so you have 20 seconds to get back in the ring. The oh, the Frankenstein. All right, so he's getting back What is he ring. doing the Frankensteiner for? I didn't know much I could do that. Oh, great. That just shows you how quality of a game this is, right? Everyone can do certain moves, it looks like. Suplex. I'm trying to do his big boot, but as you can see, it's not exactly working the way I want it to. And normally I'd be making fun, talking like Hollywood, but I am literally sitting here trying to follow these instructions that we had to print off to get these moves to go off. That's how wonderful a game this is. That's the punch, that's the kicks. And the you know me, I don't usually talk trash about these things, but we've played so much better. Why would you want to play this? This uh, is an insult to wrestling. I don't care if it's not the best, because I will say it is much better looking than the other games. Get on the rope, can you get on the rope? But, just because it looks better, doesn't mean the game plays better. On bad. the rope, show him on the rope. Get on the rope. No, can I'm just kidding. All right, so that was just a simple exhibition match. As you can see, not much going on here. But you can stretch it out, you can do more moves, but pretty much it's the same idea as every game. You gotta beat up the other guy, get their energy down, and that's the end of it. So here they simplified it now. It's just a regular energy meter that you just deplete and that's it. They got rid of the whole glowing and the different levels and layers of colors here where you're, where you're working them down to special moves. Now it's just like Street Fighter, get them down to the end and that's it. You'll be and there. you can see it's a lot quicker. All so right. let's try someone else now. Let's do Sting. And who does, should he go against? Uh, let's... Here we go. Let's go against Scott Steiner. Alright, Sting versus Scott Steiner. And again, no intro, that's it. It's just... Get right to the match, and there we go. Uh, come on, Sting, get up. Boy, you see how they recovered instantly? Come on, do a move. You can do it. Out the Frankenstein. Uh. They all do the Frankenstein. Uh. No, the power, the power driver. driver. Oh, man, he is just destroying me. Hit scissors. Come on, you can do it. Oh, he's climbing out, and he's climbing out. And what? The nerf. Hit scissors. All right, come on. Uh, my back suplex. Come on, get up. Oh, Scorpion Death Drop. Right, so we got to move up. All right. So that, Yay. Was, that was good. 
They gotta do these combinations with each of these to get their but unique moves off. I and use very, fire on the mat. It's very easy to get it out of the ring in this, I can see. So they really were like, uh, ah. think, head scissors, yeah. Head scissors. Oh no, it's a Frankenstein there, okay. Yeah. Alright, there you go. Oh, hey, you instant recovery, you know what I'm saying? Alright, let's. Right. So the commentary kind of sucks. They only say the move that you did when you uh, did the move. You, I tried to climb on the corner to, through. I jumped out of the mat. Come on, let's climb up in the corner. You can do this. Oh, wait, yep, there he goes. All right, and he's going. No. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. Do you know how fast you climb? Not very. Hip throw, leg drop. Uh -huh. But everyone plays, it has that acclaimed feel where everybody's sort of similar, right? Ah! They call them different, but it's really every wrestler is built the same in this. Ah! No! Ah! Alright, well, ah! we have a match now. But ah! Oh, he did a zigzag, did you see that? Yeah. Oh, he's pounding his chest. Uh. No! File driver. Ouch, I'm dead. Let's get back in. Come on, you can do this! Maybe. Drop kick. Uh, All no. right, let's see. So he's in the red now, so you can do special moves when they're in the red, don't forget. I'm going to try to. Uh, come on. He has a scorpion death lock, I believe, which is... Oh, here's the help. Remember, you wanted to see help. Here it is. It's, who's it? Luger. That can't be Luger. Ah. <laughs> Is it Luger? It might be Luger. Whose side is Luger on? On Stockton's uh, side? Yeah, remember they're on the same team. Oh. The NWO. Don't you love how there's no ref in this also? But you have dancing girls behind. Hey, that makes up for everything, right? Uh. Get Luger. Uh, trying to. Let's see if he'll interrupt. I'm kind of curious. Well, yeah! there you go. His great help. He's watching you pin his friend there. That's great. We see this has done so much better than WCW versus NWO, the second one, you know? All right, so that was exhibition. You get the idea. It's the same thing over and over and over and over again. You have a unique move and you have a finishing move pretty much, and that's it. So let's see how the tag works. That's the other option. I know that's it, really, besides Battle Royal. So let's go to exhibition tag match and see if we can get a fun tag going here. So who do we want to use? Is it the big roster? You want to pick? Oh, uh, let's start with the most famous tag team. Nash and Hall. All right. And let's go against the other ones. Who is it? Uh, Steiners. Okay. So this should be fun. So yeah, they have different moves also. Like Scott Hall can do a headbutt, and I believe uh, Nash does a side slam. Yeah. So who are you, Nash? Now, so yeah. it'd be uh, C left, C left, and up C. Wow! Look how slow he moves. Look how slow that kick Wow, is. yeah, he's like moving like molasses here. At least he got the sizes right. I mean, Nash really was a very big man. We met Nash in real life, as we told you guys. Yeah, very cool person. Yeah, he's Unlike nice. this game. <laughs> and we also met uh, Steiner, actually, yeah. Uh, uh, what was it? Rick Steiner, right? Oh, wow, Nash is just dominating, but because for the sake of... So you gotta show a move. So left C, left C, up C. Oh, oh. You, oh you're gonna pick... Oh, I wanted on. to get him in first. All right, so it's down C, left C, left C. Uh-oh. Oops, head scissors. Come on! So down C, left C, left C. Powerball! It's the Powerball! Wow, we're moving like molasses here. There we go! I did what you wanted me to. Oh, you got the headbutt, yeah, that was awesome. And by the way, I was trying to pick him up. I'm so used to WCW versus NWO. The button I hit was what picks them up. Oh, okay. All right, so he's going on to, uh, here, all right. Let's see if we can get a count out. Well, it's probably very hard. They don't stay down very long. Oh, that's your taunt. You get pumped up. That's cool. All right, I get pumped up, and then I get and thrown then on my head. Uh, Pico, someone just said. Oh, oh come right. on! All right, you better get back in. Oh, right, you better get back in. You better get back in. Ah, that's what happens if you get countered out. We'll try a round two here. Best two out of three. I was actually trying to get in. But I was standing right next to him, so the action button was doing weird with him. 
Oh, it doesn't even let you rematch. Oh, wow. All right, so let's do that match again. And wow, look at that, folks. You just can't play retry. <laughs> so let's, so let's try that again. again. All right, so we got Kevin Nash, Scott Hall versus the Steiner Brothers. There we and go. Let's do that again. No intro, no music, no nothing. Let's just get right to the match because who needs any of that stuff? Oh my! Whoa! Wow! Imagine Steiner doing that. He just <laughs> flat-footed, jumped, all jumped the way there. seven feet in the and air. Him by his neck. Dude, I gotta give it to Rick Steiner on that one. Yeah, that was impressive. Oh my gosh! And what's now going on? He's just him down like he's nothing. Wow! Forget Hogan slamming uh, Andre. I mean, the, the Steiner brothers are, are, are impressive. Good lord. Oh, that looked painful. I love the fact they're like, bigger model has to move ten times slower. I know, you're bigger, so you gotta move like you're... Oh my uh, gosh, this the, game. The, Folks, the, I mean... The Sasquatch here. Really. This, you really... I mean... I'd say play it to feel how bad it is, but don't. Don't even look at this game. After you watch this review, don't even come near this game. <laughs> I love the zigzag throwouts. It doesn't make I know, it's sense. so wonderful, isn't it? Now watch your timer on the top left. Yeah. There. That's how much time you have. You can block a drop it, huh? Now let's get back in. Tired there of... Go. There we go. But don't forget, his headbutt is down, left, left. Alright, we'll do the headbutt again. There we go. Oh, there it is, the headbutt, everybody. It looked like he just raked his eyes. Does the music get you into it? That's late 90s. Alright, come music, on, let's right? do this. Oh, Nash just leaps in, I like Well, of course. Ah! Man, Nash is getting his butt whooped. I mean, was Scott Hall the big carry for this tag team here? Must have been. Look at that! Wow. Another seven foot straight up in the air. This is ridiculous. Notice how folks. we lost the commentary during the tag? I guess yeah. they don't have enough memory to do the tag. To do the commentary during the tag. Can I just reverse that? Uh, yeah, it does look good. Uh, uh, Alright, so somehow you threw yourself out of the ring. That's cool. And he went through the pole there. Remember how they were bragging about their great smooth animations? Oh, yeah, listen to that. I just broke oh, his wow, back. Oh, wow, just broke him in half. But this is get ball combat now. Alright, so get into the ring. I'm trying right, to. You're both going hit together. That's nice. There we go. Power bomb. Oh, there's a commentary. I heard something. Oh, wow. Block. Oh, oh, wow. What are you about to do? Oh, there you go. Over the hip. Man. I guess he decided that I was too tall. The Kevin Nash side slammed over again his uh, left, left up see. I know. I did it a few times. Okay. And don't forget this one is down, left, left. Want to do another head play. I just want to try and win. This is absolutely a very painful experience. But it's the power bomb. Oh, there you go. Head play. There we go. Now when they're on the ground, you can do the uh, the outsider's edge. You just hold, push up, left, left, down. But not until they're in the red, though. See, that's how it is with this game. You can do finishers, but only when they're in the red. You want some payback here? Oh, he's on the rope. Yeah, you can jump. With this game, he probably fly across the screen and get me. I think we accidentally picked unlimited time, but that doesn't matter. No, it's a tag team. Oh, they gave you more time for the yeah. tag team. Yeah, I do too. Um... That's right, look at this. And you can't even help, your partner doesn't help. Oh yeah, I just love the fact they can fly through the air with the greatest of ease. I know. Just like Kevin Nash on the flying trapeze. That's right. By the way, folks, I'm trying to do moves here. But he's blocking everything. I think they just like showing the fact they can jump really high. Alright, so they pin at any time, which makes no sense. When you have a life bar, you shouldn't be doing that. No. It looks impressive. There are some good things about it. The wrestlers look cool. The the animations are cool. I mean, the moves suck because it's all just so limited and it's it's like jagged and weird. But they, it does look good. I will give them credit for that. The, the game itself looks graphically okay, you know what I mean? Yep. 
I will definitely give him credit for that. The characters do look proper for an N64 Where are you game. going? Get back in here. Yep, you can run out Find of the Find them. There we go. Yep, every time I do a taunt, they just walk right over to you because they take too long. Yep. Uh-oh, we're running out of time. Eight, seven, six. So there's a time limit in this. And we're going to lose by time. Yep. Oh, we won because we had the most life. Most energy when the time ran out. So we and won. we actually pinned him. All right, we'll take it. I don't know how we won it, but we'll take it. So there you go, folks. Now we want to check out Battle Royal just to show what it looks yeah, let's like. Yeah, let's check out Battle Royal. Let's look at Battle Royal. Uh, yeah, push start. We might not get through it, but we're going to have fun. That's how we're going to finish this. Let's see how far Vesper could get in this Battle Royal. And pick whoever you want. This will be fun. Do you want to use Mr. Perfect? Do you want to use uh, Luger? Have the giant, he or Goldberg even. He's a star. Goldberg. All right, so here it is. Every man for themselves. You have 16 left. So it's pretty much like a Royal Rumble, but a little different. How with life bars, this is going to be hard. I'll give WCW versus NWO credit for both those titles. That. Oh, Goldberg something. Yep, because I immediately thought I was playing a much better game. <laughs> that was the punch button. It's the power bomb. There we go, belly to back. So what is this? It's another. You have to pin everybody, and they just keep coming in, pretty much. I think you're supposed to throw them out. Yeah, but... I thought you're supposed to throw them out of the room. I didn't know what this. Oh, uh, we'll see what there happens. We go. Yeah. So who do we have now? We have Hitman, Hogan, and Sting. All right. 16 people. Yeah. Uh, be careful when you go out. Does that count? No, so you can't go out. That's you have to go over fun. the top rope. Remember? All right, so un going under any other rope doesn't matter. All right, good. Uh, like it was actually easier doing the other games. You just had to be near the rope and you just throw them out. Well, there's a totally different developer. Yep. I can't even lock onto a different person. Look, if you're not locked onto the right person, yeah, they get you can't even walk away from them. Hogan just throws around like nothing. Come on! Come on, Goldberg! What's so, your... so Goldberg has the gorilla press, which is oh, upright that's right. right. Yeah. Upright right. There it is! Ah! Hogan's game. Uh-oh! Uh, I thought he was going to go over. That was a cool move you got to do that. That is true. So upright right. Just keep doing that. There oh, we he's go. Oh, showing off. Upright right. Ah, oh, Hogan got Ah! It's so confusing. Plus, also, look, the game's actually slowed down. The first. game, when you have more characters in the ring, the game gets slower. We have noticed that. And I don't know if that's due to the way we're playing this or if that's the actual game, but it does slow down when you have more characters in the ring. Okay, all right. I'm trying to do it, but I can't throw him out like I want to. So maybe you do it at the pin. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be bad. <laughs> so they're grunting a lot. Oh, another gorilla press. All right. Yep. And what are uh, Sting and him doing? Absolutely nothing. Though. They're dancing. They're, they're, they're <laughs> dancing. They're dancing. They're dancing. We're playing patty cake. I'm not certain. <laughs> are they even fighting each other? The AI is not very good in this game. All right. So Hogan's down to the red. So now when he's in the ray, you can do the jackhammer, which is uh, up, 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 up on the uh, D-pad and then three up C's. Yep, there it is. You got it. The jackhammer. Pin. I'm trying to, but it won't let me. Oh, so maybe you can't pin in this. Uh-oh. You have to throw him out. Oh, God. Yeah, so this is going to take forever. So we're not going to show you this whole thing, but now you get the idea of what it is. But we'll see if we can get home. Hold on a second, Ramses. I'm going to pause it. Now let's see if there's a way to throw these people out. All right, we found out how you're supposed to do it. Let's see if this can work. So why is it again, Ramsey? Left, C down, C right. Left, C down. All right, stand up, Hogan. Stand up. All right, so left, D head. Oh, no. Oh, you got it. Ah. Awesome. Hogan, you two leave me alone. He's mine. It's the power bomb. Pick him up! Alright, so now do it. I no, tried to. Oh, that's a hip toss, but he did. What? Wow, he won't fly. The left D pad, C down, C right. The left, C, C. Oh, 
There we go. All right, that did it. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah, so that's how you do it, folks. Let's see how far we can go. We'll go until we're up. But these two are doing absolutely nothing. Let's see if we can get Hitman out of here. I'm trying to! Yeah. Ouch! Wow, imagine Hogan being the first eliminated. He would never accept that. Oh, now she's coming in. Uh... Alright, you figured this would be easy, but... Left. Yes. Hold left. You figure this would be easy, folks, but I'm doing the move, and I think I was just lucky to get Logan out. Uh-oh, he might throw you out now. I think they're all, all right. three trying to kill me now. Yeah, they didn't like... Oh, wow, they're all can't get off of you. Look at this. This is fair, folks. <laughs> oh, nope, you didn't make it out of the one. Yep. All right. You might have to weaken him first. Maybe that's what the problem is. Maybe you can't just throw him out, like, instantly. You gotta weaken him. It should be. Well, he's having no problem tossing you around. Yeah, no, I'm trying to throw him out. <laughs> no, I bet you have to weaken him a little bit. He was in the red when you did it, remember? Oh, that's probably true. Yeah. Uh, well, start waking him. Ah! Well, he's weakening you, that's for sure. Yep, now you're down. He'll be able to throw you up. Uh-oh, I think that's going to be it for Goldberg. Uh-oh. Now you reversed it. Nope. No, uh. But Bret Hart can be thrown. If you can get Bret Hart, you can get him out. Leave me be. Leave me be. Wow. You're, get, you're getting beat up there. I don't have much. Oh, there, yeah, you have to be in the red, so we figured it out. Oh, I'm gone. So that's, so now they're able to throw you out. I'm dead. Well, maybe the, yeah, they're teaming up on you. Oh, good lord. Oh, no. Oh, no! Oh, Macho Man's coming in. Well, uh, I, I powerbomb you. I did... I, I let them fight each other. And to quote Godzilla, let them fight. Too yeah, late! Macho Man's taking off where he left off. Just do regular moves. You don't have to do anything. I'm not even trying. I'm just trying to do regular moves. You don't understand. Just do C uh, left and C down. That's it. Uh, no, I'm just trying to do any move. Uh oh, he reversed it. Yep. Come on. I'm oh, gone. You're out. All right. So that was the battle royal, everybody. At least we got to show you what it's like. Oh, so it just keeps going and going without us. Well, let's make sure when the next one comes in that you can't control. Okay. All right. So now we are out. That's what happens. So you gotta weaken them. And then you can throw him out. That's how the game works here. And there goes Goldberg. He's out. So let's see what happens next when Goldberg leaves. Oh, that sounded painful. Yeah, it sounds incredibly painful. I yeah. mean, some of the effects are way over the top. Oh, there goes Goldberg. All oh, right. Took him long enough to leave. So Luger's in. Now let's see if you control him. Any of you? Oh, you do control him, but we can end it there. I think we showed yeah. everything. But let's just make sure you can control yeah, Luger. I can control. So whoever's in the one first player position is who you get to control. That's how it works in there. Wow, I literally ah! got <laughs> Alright, uh, you want to play a little or you want to no, end it? Alright, so, pause the game. Alright, and we'll be right back to wrap everything up. That was WCW Nitro on N64. I think we showed you more than enough gameplay here. We'll be right back with our happy little recap here. Hold on, folks. And I'm sure Vestra has a lot to say about this wonderful experience. Yeah, don't play this game. It's terrible. It's horrific. It gives you a standard set of moves that everybody can do, but... As we didn't find out till later, you have to be in the red to throw somebody out of the ring. And there are certain circumstances that you have to be in to do these moves. And everybody can just do the Frankensteiner. Apparently, that's just a regular move now. But to be fair, it really wasn't a finishing move. It was just because it was the Steiners picked on. But long story short, too many freaking things to remember. NWCW versus NWO. You have a light grapple and you have a heavy grapple. You have a block, and you can do all your moves from that. Easy to remember. They didn't learn from one of the best games out there. And as we looked, I figured out why they didn't do it since this came out after it. They were released at the exact same time. 
right. but they chose to hold it off one year. Which is smart, by the way. Which means that they truly didn't know which one was better. This easy-to-use system or the acclaim method of, oh my god, we're just going to button mash and hope for the best. Yeah, it's not good. I didn't play it, but I, I know wrestling games well. I played all the NES games, as you can see, and I'm very familiar with how these games work. This is definitely not as good, and it's clunky, and it's it's slow and laggy, and that, again, might be the way we're playing it. That it might not be the actual game. But either way, slowness or, slowness or not, it's still a clunky game. It's awkward. you got to, like, figure out all the moves for everybody. you got to lock up. There's a lot of reversals. The running looks weird. The mechanics are strange. I will say the graphics are nice. I like how these look. You know, you remember the earlier games we had on the N64 where they all look blocky and weird? We're finally getting to the point where they look very true to how this does look. So I will give them credit on that. The characters look exactly like you would hope they would look on N64. So I'm going to give them credit. It looks great. But there's no intro music and there's no uh, live commentary. They just repeat the same uh, move every time you say it. That's all the commentaries do. And I also want to point out this. That was on easy, folks. We practiced on normal and you couldn't get anything off. I imagine hard would be so impossible that you'd have to be a master at this game to even stand a chance. And I'm sure there are some masters. Again, there's probably someone who's like, oh, you guys suck. All right, so we're not investing a 1,000 hours into WCW Nitro. The problem is there's better options. A year earlier, you had a game that blows this one away. Why would I want to downgrade? And because you want the better wrestlers. I agree, but the characters have no personalities. All they do at the end of the match is they'll say their signature or whatever, and that's the only flavor we get that you're using these characters. Besides that, you can be using any generic anybody because they all do the same standing moves. I, it's only at the end where they do their signature or whatever. That's it. Yeah. So in WCW versus NWO in both the games, you can have the potential to do multiple finishing moves in a single match, but you have to build up your spirit to do it. In this one, the pretense for it is you got to get them into the red, then you do your finishing move, and then that's that. It feels more like wrestling in that respect, yeah. but I also hate the fact that there's a life bar because, we, as we all know in wrestling, sometimes those matches can go on for a long while, and they draw you in. You don't want to end it. You want to keep going. You're like, oh, I can turn this around. I can turn this around. In this one, nope, it's pretty much a fighting game. So, unfortunately, this is going to rank lower. So now we've had two good wrestling games and two bad wrestling games. So, unfortunately, that's how it... Go through this, and that's why we're looking at all 10 North American plus some bonus ones after that. So for now, it's 500. We have two. You must play two. You probably don't want to play. But we'll see how this plays out. We're almost getting to the halfway point with these games, and it's been a lot of fun. And, yeah, we'll join you all next time for Best Adventure Reviews. We'll definitely have some more wrestling goodness. Let us know what you thought of WCW Nitro. Maybe this is the first one you played. Maybe you have some special memories. Maybe you're like, oh, you guys don't get it. Well, tell us. We'd love to hear what your thoughts of this game are. If we're right, wrong, or otherwise, let us have it. We're, we're here to listen. So that being said, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, and... Ring that bell! I will bring you much more wrestling goodness here on Vestor Retro Reviews. Thanks for joining us again, and we'll see you all next time. Hopefully with a better game than this one. Stay tuned to see our final rankings right now. <laughs>